a first one for you. I guess how pleased are you first win in Titans Colors in front of home crowd? What does it mean to you? Nah, it was great. Like I, you can really feel the energy out there. Like especially when we play good. Like the fans out there was crazy. Like you love it. Like as a player, that's that's everything you want. So it was great. And then we played we played really good defense. Do you look at yourself when you talk? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, <laughs> nah, but we was playing, you know, great defense, following the game plan, did what coach wanted us to do, so, and we got the dub, so, so it was, it was good. Impressed with your performance, I guess you okay. Yeah, nah, nah, I'm, you, we're gonna keep going. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not satisfied yet. You're gonna keep going. Um, what, 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 what's better, Patrick, um, sorry, Bobby's uh, potential, his skill, his character, or what's, what's the best aspect of Bobby? Uh, this is this is why we're desperate to get him here because he ticks so many boxes for us and and I've said it multiple times it's just cool that he's here and we can be part of his journey. Um, so when he becomes big time and he forgets about us in <laughs> six years time, we nah, can say we're there at the start. Happen. But no, he's, he's this is what I mean. It's he's having him just in the change room, in the locker room, practice, just the energy he brings. It's it's great. It's it's exactly what we want. And, and in that second quarter, like, did you feel sort of a little bit like? Sort of proud to see Bobby get going, you know, and really have a great stretch for the first time, you know, since he's joined the squad and to perform the way he's did. That made you feel a little bit good seeing him hit threes, block shots, taking charges, and then doing that kind of stuff. No, oh, because he's capable. So it, 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 it's not a surprise when you're like, OK, like he's good and we ride that momentum and we keep going. And uh, no, like it's, it's it's cool that he's doing it because he's capable and it's great to see it. Um, but you know, I'm not surprised by it because I expect the same when we play Brisbane on the weekend. I guess, Woody, how pleased are you? You guys got, you know, 14 points up and then the margin obviously came back. How pleased are you for the boys to get out for the rest of it? Rest of the game. Yeah, uh, I guess this is what we reflected on again, like in New Zealand. You know, we found a couple of times in New Zealand, especially in that first half, we had the opportunity to blow out, you know, get a five point lead and blow it out to double digits. And we never did it. Uh, so today we were able to get it out to double digits and then we just couldn't push it out to 20. Because this is the thing like, you're up five, be up 10, you're up 10, be up 20. Um, but this is part of the process. We knew what we got, you know, going into the season and, um, you know, maybe we got a little bit spoilt with you know, uh, the results being immediate, but people forget that was a two year process last year. Where this year with the group we have in, we're trying to fast track into eight months. So this is expected. This needs to be addressed and highlighted. You know, we don't get away with just getting the win. You know, it's important that we keep addressing the things that, you know, we need to improve on. You know, right now we're like a, a lion cub that's got the prey in our mouth and we don't know how to kill it yet. So um, we'll keep nurturing that and getting better. Any update as to why Josh? Well, he just sort of got back on the court today. Um, it was hard, and, and it, especially for Sam Meninga and AK as well, it was hard to rotate them through because Southeast went a bit of a small ball lineup. So it really wasn't a matchup for bigs. Um, so this is what we matched Southeast's pace and energy um, by going a little bit of small ball ourselves. But it helps when all our wing guys are 6'7 to 6'10 and, and, and you know able to do what they do. So yeah, it was purely just a matchup. Bobby, how valuable do you find it? You know, you've got such a young squad around you. Young and, and you've got Patrick Miller on the other end of the scale who's, you know, how valuable do you find his experience on the court and, and him commanding the game to, to help you out as well? It's, it's, it's super valuable, you know what I'm saying? Um, everything, like every time in practice and stuff like that, when we do stuff we're not supposed to, like, you know, he's always there, like, just small stuff, like, you know, sometimes I drive the ball and I'm not stopping and pump faking, like, he'll be there tell me, like, do this instead. And if I got questions, like, I'm just asking him. Same with, same with Taj, like, same with Wardenberg, like, all the guys that's been in the league, same with Boo, like, you know, they always, they always help the young guys. And, you know, we come in, we come, we come together as a group and we got that good chemistry. So, like, if I, if, if I get on somebody, like, they're not going to be like, oh, that's personal. You know, they're going to take it professionally and just keep going and try to build, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely, we definitely got that as a squad. Well, you came in on demand. Um, were you impressed or with anyone in particular who's really stepped up and performed? Um, I mean, again, this is the collective, right? And, you know, we had some guys step up very well for us in New Zealand that didn't necessarily step up tonight and, and vice versa. So... Um, you know, we did this by design with the group that we have is, you know, because it's young in multiple positions, but each position has a very experienced leader in it. Um, you know, you just need sort of three out of the four guys to be performing with the idea that some guys can have a bit of a dip because they're a rookie or they're young. Um, no, like everyone sort of, you know, that had to step up, needed to step up and did so. Um, and then everybody else is, you know, we will bounce back and, and, and do well in Brisbane. Well, what are you about us about? Patrick Miller, I, always, I imagine we've probably asked you about six times in the past two weeks about 
Um, but again, you showed that experience in guiding these guys around the court, top scored, putting up numbers in these last two games. What, what is it like for you having a man like Pat stepping up when guys like Taj and, and, and Tarry too are, I guess, potential starters and key ball handlers that are not around? Yeah, he's shouldering a lot of that burden, and, and as I said last week, but he's capable. He's shown it throughout his entire career, and you know, to, to really come in and close out the game for us. But also, um, you know, when Southie started switching, you know, we we ran just an early on ball set, and he was able to pick his moment, whether it was on the pass, whether it was on the shot, and get into the rim. Um, no, it's 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 that's. He's a fantastic player, and he's, a, you know, he's a seasoned veteran. And you know, we learn as Bobby's talking about things he learns off off Pat. I'm doing the same. Um, no, it's great. It's, it, we're we're lucky to have him. Thank you, Brown. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you.